diffusion and dilution is another element of the chemistry course but I will just make this concise because in another biology video we learn what diffusion is in detail. So you need to understand the results, how the results of experiments involving dilution of coloured solutions can be explained and you need to know what the Brownian motion is so that relates to diffusion. So we can look at that Brownian motion first. It is the movement of particles in liquids and gases and it's the idea that they move randomly and this is what we call the Brownian motion. Um, and if we have larger particles, they can be moved by light, fast moving molecules. This concept was developed by Robert Brown, uh, who found this in 1827, looking at pollen grains in a microscope and how they move randomly in random directions. The last bit we need to look at is the practical with dilution of coloured solutions. So we have our water and we have the coloured solution, crystals of potassium uh, manganate. The method is simple. We fill the beaker with the water and we add this potassium manganate and record the observations. Uh, the first thing we'll notice is that they dissolve in water so that it's all uh, aqueous and a purple solution will form. These particles are moving freely, sliding over each other and mixing to create a weaker colour of uh, the original crystal and they're less concentrated so the final colour will be a weaker colour which is that purple colour.